This video is about my 40 meter mag loop antenna design that I've been working on for a few weeks now. It's based on my first antenna that was a 10 meter loop, so much smaller and easier to build. This is the finished product and it's about 33 feet in diameter or all together, but it's in four loops. So I've got down to about a three or four, three and a half foot um, diameter antenna. It started with um, 33 feet, which was the optimum amount of copper. And then I built these little wooden blocks to try to hold on, um, hold it together. Then I started with one corner and tried to create uh, four loops that were approximately the same diameter, which is a little harder than I thought it would be, but it eventually worked out okay. I just used oak wood cross supports to build the frame and keep it in the right shape and attached it to the wooden blocks that I had made. Here's the finished product and uh, it's worked pretty well. The f last thing I did was put the capacitor uh, on it which is located there in the bottom. And of course the driving loop which is uh, a smaller diameter loop um, of just one turn. The SWRs turned out really well. I've, uh, when it's tuned properly, I can get near one-to-one -one matches. But of course, this type of antenna has a, is a very selective, it has a very high Q, which means that it's, um, if it's tuned off frequency just a little bit, it has to be, um, the capacitor has to be changed. I generate the pressure, and it won't, <laughs> it won't generate Like you said. 